Hello guys and welcome. I'm Ishri Gattani and in this video I will show you the demo of my chatbot built in Python. In connection with the coronavirus and many questions on this disease, the chatbot can answer all the user queries. Let's run the code and see the output. Just to let you know, the chatbot is built using the Python chatbot library, which is a machine learning based conversational dialogue engine. The GUI of the bot is designed using the TK Enter library of Python, and the speech recognition library is used to receive the response from the bot in the form of a speech. So, this is a bot as you can see. Let's start with the small talk first. Let's ask the bot. Hi. The data set for the bot is taken from the frequently asked question section of the WHO. The website link is attached in the description, so the one who are interested in knowing about the data set can check it in the description. There's some delay in the response because of the memory issue. Sorry for it. Hello. Let's ask the bot. How are you doing? I am doing great. Who designed you? Should I ask this? My name is Chetty. I am created by Ishi. Okay, let's ask some questions related to the COVID-19. How does the COVID-19... People can catch COVID-19 from others who have the virus. The disease can spread from person to person through small droplets from the nose or mouth which are spread when a person with COVID-19 coughs or exhales. These droplets land on objects and surfaces around the person. Other people then catch COVID-19 by touching these objects or surfaces, then touching their eyes, nose, or mouth. People can also catch COVID-19 if they breathe in droplets from a person with COVID-19 who coughs out or exhales droplets. This is why it is important to stay more than one meter, three feet, away from a person who is sick. Mm, got it. Are the antibiotics effective? No. Antibiotics do not work against viruses. They only work on bacterial infections. COVID-19 is caused by a virus, so antibiotics do not work. Antibiotics should not be used as a means of prevention or treatment of COVID-19. They should only be used as directed by a physician to treat a bacterial infection. Okay, let's ask about is there any vaccine or drug treatment for COVID-19? Not yet. To date, there is no vaccine and no specific antiviral medicine to prevent or treat COVID-2019. However, those affected should receive care to relieve symptoms. People with serious illness should be hospitalized. Most patients recover thanks to supportive care. Possible vaccines and some specific drug treatments are under investigation. They are being tested through clinical trials. Who is coordinating efforts to develop vaccines and medicines to prevent and treat COVID-19? Okay, what are the symptoms? The most common symptoms of COVID-19 are fever, tiredness, and dry cough. Some patients may have aches and pains, nasal congestion, runny nose, sore throat, or diarrhea. These symptoms are usually mild and begin gradually. Some people become infected but don't even have to develop any symptoms and don't feel unwell. Most people, about 80%, recover from the disease without needing special treatment. Around one out of every six people who gets COVID-19 becomes seriously ill and develops difficulty breathing. Older people, and those with underlying medical problems like high blood pressure, heart problems, or diabetes, are more likely to develop serious illness. People with fever, cough, and difficulty breathing should seek medical attention. Okay, got it. Should I wear a mask to protect myself? 
Only wear a mask if you are ill with COVID-19 symptoms, especially coughing, or looking after someone who may have COVID-19. Disposable face mask can only be used once. If you are not ill or looking after someone who is ill then you are wasting a mask. There is a worldwide shortage of masks, so who urges people to use masks wisely? Hmm, got it. Thank you, Teddy. Stay safe, you are welcome. Apart from this, I would also like you to know that the bot can perform some mathematical calculations. Uh, I'll give it an example like this is done by using the logic adapters. 78 plus 57 plus 900 equals 1635. Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. This bot is just a small contribution to keep the people informed about the virus. Stay safe.